Hey Aries, welcome to Black Star Tarot. Thank you guys for stopping and watching, like and subscribe. This is your October Twin Flame reading. So let's jump in and see what the universe has going on between you and your boo. All right, so let's go. Messages for Aries Spirit. Oh, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I like that. King of Swords. What else for Aries? We have the King of Cups. Lots of masculine energy going on here, guys. All right, what else for Aries? Hmm. All right, there we go. All right, we got some. We got some. Got the Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Will of Fortune. And let's grab two more and then we can move on. All right. So Aries, the card that is sending out to me most, of course, is this major arcana, the wheel. All right. The wheel is the Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus card. So you could be uh, dealing with any of them. But just know that there is some type of change going on between you in your person right now there is movement that is being initiated by the universe because it is necessary so for some of you this change has ushered you into an energy of the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is a very self-sufficient free type of energy the um nine of pentacles is very independent okay can be a little selfish but so what right she does her own thing all right she handles her own business right she's in this king of swords energy that's here like you know what's going on right now like you know how to love you know what love is with this king of cups here you know the king of cups is somebody who has grown you know who is emotionally mature okay but then we have this page of cups here and pages are kind of the opposite of the king of cups you know pages are not mature at all they're actually kind of petty um the pages you know usually come you know to spread news okay to um in this particular situation um the page you know could very well be here you know to um to make some type of proposal maybe some type of offer or even uh some type of surprise but we have a lot of people here. Like your 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 reading is filled with folk. Okay, we got pages. We got kings. You know, we have court cards. We got all kind of stuff. You know, going on here's another one. Right, we have a lot of um, energy here. A lot of other people's energy uh, when it comes to your um, <laughs> your um, your twin flame reading. So that tells me that there's a lot of people uh, involved. This is interesting. So, Aries, a lot of you right now um, are dealing with your flame, but I don't feel that you are with your flame. I feel that there is something that has come in and uh, changed the dynamic here, right? Um, the will, I'm almost certain, has brought, you know, some type of um, turnaround, you know, in your life, right? You're in the process of some type of life cycle you could have been with somebody for a while but i feel that you you've evolved from this person that you know it's 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 time for you to kind of move on now this person is still watching you this person is definitely still interested in you because we have this page of swords here and this page means that this person is still messaging you they're still watching you they're still spying on you they're talking about you and again pages are very mischievous right they're they're usually always up to something particularly the page of swords like it's a very chatty you know energetic you know type of energy almost like a pest okay so for some of you like whoever you have been dealing with for quite some time because the will is here you know this person has maybe even sent you through it a little bit because we have this nine of swords that's here you know causing you some type of panic or anxiety okay like you're losing sleep in this dynamic for some reason i feel that even though there is a small struggle here for some of you um and the struggle is either to go back to this person or to move on for this person because there is a page of cups here who is ultimately 
trying to probably apologize because you've moved on for them. So I see where you've left this person. I see where this person is trying to come back. I see where, you know, your, your flame has not ultimately disconnected from you. And this is a struggle. Like I see you really being patient. I see you really holding back, you know, your aggression and pretty much handling anything that is coming your way when it comes to dealing, you know, with this, with this person. Okay. The King of Swords, you know, represents the energy of being stern, being disciplined, being logical. Um, somebody here could be bitter, okay, because the King of Swords in reverse, of course, it's not. But regardless, you know, it still has the energy of someone, you know, being nasty or bitter, or jealous, you know, um, all that shit, right? But I feel like here, like the King of Swords in your position, I feel like you're serious about what it is that you want and don't want, you know, in this dynamic. I really don't think that you're fucking around. I feel that at some point in time, um, you've had to take some time to be alone. You had to withdraw so that you could reflect and do a little soul searching, right? That hermit kind of an energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or another earth sign, okay? Um, you've had to take that time to kind of sit back and be like, yo, I got to think about this. And in the process of doing so, I feel like, you know, you ended something, right? You wanted to change something so that you could bring in something new, you know, for yourself. Okay. Like, um, I feel like you have had some offers from others and although you're entertaining them, I don't feel like you're ultimately, um, accepting any real offers at this time i don't think that your focus is really on the new love because you still have you know your old energy this old person that uh, is here right because there's a lesson that with the with the, the will here there's something for you to learn from this person uh karma 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 that's all i'm gonna say about this and this is a twin flame reading so you know, you have people that are probably after you, Aries, that are now that they know that you're available, you know, maybe even wanting to be with you, but you still have this past energy, you know, that is kind of hanging on to you, okay? Wanting a renewal with you, wanting, you know, to a restart, like telling you that they're going to change, but I don't think that that is necessarily the case. I feel that the your person is lying. I feel that um they're still hiding stuff that they're being sneaky you know that they're being deceptive you know to some extent okay so i feel that anything that they say to you when in regards to a new beginning and saying that they're being honest and truthful i don't think that that is the case i still think that they're still operating in like that five of wands energy very chaotic you know lots of tension you know, struggling, um, your person could very well even be struggling with something, but I really wouldn't buy it if your old person comes back, if this flame comes back with like, yeah, I love you, yeah, yeah, maybe they do, maybe they don't, all right, I'm not really here to say, okay, there it is, so you have, I'm sorry, you have drawn to you, what else, spirit, you have a storm brewing, all right, Aries, I oh, had one to fill in and see that here. And we have a fresh start. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, Aries, your, your flame right now isn't healed yet. And they're going to say they're sorry. You know, they're going to claim that they love you. But it's a trick because they're not healed, right? They're going to want this fresh start. But they haven't grown. They haven't learned, you know, from their mistakes. And for a lot of you, they're, you know, they have substance abuse. Substance abuse is affecting, you know, your relationship you know, with them. And so, you know, you at some point may have been waiting around for this person to change, but I really don't feel that right now they're in the mindset to do so because they're still struggling with something. And it doesn't have to be alcohol or drugs. They could just be struggling with their inner child, right? You know, they need to purge themselves. They need healing. They need help. All right, what else for Aries? You know, your flame still got work to do, all right? So, again, there it may offer you. Um, whether you take it or leave it, you know, it's completely up to you. But just know that the wheel is here, you know, to try to reset you. They're trying to turn, you know, this situation around so that you can learn lessons and move on to something that is better for you. And 
when you move on from this person, for those of you that do, at some point in time, this will allow them to get on the road, you know, to recovery, okay? If you go back and keep pacifying them, they're never going to grow. They're never going to learn. You know, they're always going to be a problem in your life, okay? So we have grief, we have recognition, and we have summer that came out. So for some of you, you know, you could have reconciled or got into a new relationship with someone else over the summer, or you could have left this person, you know, some time during the summer. And this has sent them into a period of grief, but know that leaving them is going to allow them to learn this lesson that's hiding on the bottom of the deck here, okay? Like this person is, you know, they could say, oh, I'm desolate without you, you know, don't leave me and things like that. But again, like you're, you weren't put on this planet, you know, to babysit people. If people want to be healed, they have to take the initiative to do so. Again, I don't know, this may not be for all, but I do feel like some of you have moved on. You've taken the action to get into a new relationship with somebody else. I do feel that here uh, for some of you out there. You've kind of stepped off and kind of did your own thing. Again, hard to progress with anyone new because you still have this other person, you know, around you. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, so many fucking people. I feel like your mother, your father, your cousins, the boyfriend, the flame, you know, all is a, there's a lot of energy around you, lots of people around you. And whether they have a direct or indirect um, effect on your relationship, um, nevertheless, they're there. So that tells me that, you know, your mind is concentrated on a, a lot of different things. So it says, I get excited every time I see you. So somebody's happy to see somebody. If you have a family with this flame, if you connect back with this person, you know, maybe for the sake of the children or a child, you know, this person could get excited when they see you. Um, nevertheless, you know, this could be the way you feel, you know, about the, the new person you met. Because I feel like whoever you're seeing now, um, they... Um, make you feel good about yourself but i feel that you know your new person is aware um of what's going on between you and your old person areas and so there's a feeling that they have that you may go back to this old person okay so sometimes they get annoyed or they get triggered because they want to take you know the relationship to the next level you know this he, they love spending time with you you know, but they are aware that you're in a karmic situation, okay? And so, or they may not know, may not know the term karmic situation, but they're aware that there is some type of um, uh, connection between you and somebody else. And it's legitimately very frustrating uh, to them, Aries. So that's, that's something that, you know, needs to be worked on, okay? All right, let's see what else we have. Messages for Aries. So we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Death card. So, you know, what's fair is fair, right? And right now, like I said, you have a lot going on. Aces speak of anything new, okay? Aces are all about new adventures, you know? It's all about new passions, attractions. So I do feel that... You have that. You have met someone. You got something else going on, basically with two people here, you know. But then the Five of Wands is here. Like, well, wait, 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 wait. You know, you're there's there's clashes, right? There's a struggle, right? There's something that you need to end because the Death card is here to try to help you close the cycle, right? So that this new cycle can come in, you know. But you're stuck, you know, in this soul contract that just, you know, like I said, you know, it isn't you know, seeming to go away. And then, you know, the communication back and forth, feel like, again, I feel like you're communicating with this person because you have to, you know, when in fact, I think your goal is to try to just make yourself independent from this person so that you can invest your time in someone new, right? Yes. Okay. That's what you're looking to do. Particularly King of Pentacles, you know, somebody that's a little bit more stable. A lot of you could be dealing with Earth signs right now. Some of you could definitely be dealing with, you know, a Capricorn in some way. But you're going through a lot, right? Nine of Wands, you know, you know, you got a lot of setbacks, okay? Um, you got a lot of battles to fight, I feel, before you can get to, you know, the end of this, right? We have Judgment here, uh, card next out on the deck. 
and the card of Scorpio, of course. So some of you could be dealing with Scorpio, but there is change and renewal that is beckoning you right now. You have decisions to make, okay? And you're being called to do so. The judgment is calling you. You're being called to end something, you know, to set this shit straight so that you can go on and move on with your life. All right. Closing messages for Aries. All right, let's see. I dropped the cards on the floor as usual. Let me see. Messages for Aries. Oop, and they went on the floor again. Okay, all right. So we got creativity. So Aries, I mean, like, hey, you know, focus on your art, focus on your work, focus on you, okay? Focus on your wish fulfillment, all right? There's a lot of uh, things that are in your way that is blocking your growth, you know, at this time, but it's time for you to heal and rejuvenate yourself. You know, if you need to go on a holiday or a break so that you can nourish yourself, please do so because whatever you do, Okay, Aries, whatever it is that you do, do it now because the universe is, again, like prompting you to do so, right? Karma is here. The will of fortune was healed earlier. Destiny, you know, is at your door trying to offer you in a new life with a new person, new situations, new growth opportunities.